What's up everybody, Audi 84 here, Wicked Explorers with another Dead Mall Extravaganza. Today it takes us to the Hampshire Mall in Hadley, Massachusetts. Hadley, Massachusetts is about 100 miles west of Boston near University of Massachusetts in Amherst. So this is a mall that is deader than dead. Uh, I was actually surprised about how actual dead it was, to be honest with you. Um, so we got there on a Saturday afternoon and uh, we decided to take a look and uh, not much going on here. So I'll give you a little history of this place. It was built in 1978 by the Pyramid Company who did a lot of the malls down in western Massachusetts. Approximately 55 stores, number of anchors are five. Um, it has 4, 435,000 square feet and it's uh, one floor with a partial upper floor which you'll see later in the video near the movie theaters. The Hampshire Mall is primarily a one-story mall with a small second floor, as I just said, uh, located in Hadley, Massachusetts. Currently, anchor stores include Dick's Sporting Goods, J.C. Penney's, PetSmart, and Target. The mall is home to Interstate 91. The mall is home to Interskate 91, a roller skating rink on the second floor. Attached to the skating rink is a laser blast, ancient adventure, uh, laser, you know, type thingy, majiggy inside there, which is. Interesting. So basically, we got to the mall and to the anchor stores. The, I guess they're technically anchor stores, but the only ones you can access from inside the mall are the Target or the JC Pennies. Um, and then there is a Dick's attached to it. The movie theater is in the back, middle of the mall, mm -hmm. um, which, we'll, like I said, we'll see soon as we walk through. Uh, first thing I noticed was the amount of stores that are empty. That was pretty key to being a dead mall. Uh, the mall was very, very clean, though. I was pretty impressed about actually how good of a condition the mall was um it looks like it has been up up kept um and it looks like at one place it was probably a hopping mall and being so close to the university of massachusetts i figured that obviously not now if school is not in session but i figured at one point at time this would be a kind of a, a mall that people would uh, use quite oftenly um but i guess apparently not when the mall opened in 1978 it was anchored by jc Penney's. Steggers in Kmart. The Steggers store was demolished in 1994 for Media Play. Media Play store opened August 10, 1995. Kmart closed in 2002 because of the chain's bankruptcy. In 2003, the former Kmart space was rebuilt to extend uh, to the Target store. Originally, the mall contained a six-screen movie theater that exists from 1978 to 1999. This was then expanded to 12-screen Cinemark movie theater in 2000. A 4,500-square-foot Dick Sporting Goods store opened in early 2005, replacing the former Eastern Mountain Sports. Best Buy and Stephen Berry's replaced Media Play in, in early 2005. Stephen Berry's filed a bankruptcy in 2008 and sub subsequently closed their Hampshire Small store in August 2008 and was replaced by uh, the racetrack. Further on as we go, Walmart developers began in 2005 wished to build a new 212 square foot supercenter southeast of the Hampshire Mall. However, there had been some various hindrances as it consequently of the bylaws designed to keep out large stores by restricting new stores to 75,000 square feet. After two years of negotiation on November 20, 2007, a subdivision plan that extended, uh, exempted the planned Walmart Supercenter from current bylaw restrictions was approved. Developers have eight years to get the site plan approved before uh, the exemption expires. This would most certainly mean the current store attached to the east end of, the, uh, of Mountain Farms Mall would close. Which is Mountain Farm Mall, if you do not know, is down the street. It's a strip mall, kind of in the same complex a little bit. Um, you actually see it from the main road, Route 9, which it's on more than you see the actual mall. I actually, to find the mall, I actually took some time to go and try to locate it. It's buried in the back of the mall. Uh, to the left right here is the racetrack, I believe, I was, that they were talking about. Um, there's also a pins there. Uh, the pins looks like a bowling alley of some sort. 
Now, this mall, as you can see, is very well lit. Um, it's very bright. It's very clean. It looks like it shouldn't be dead. It, it, and, you know, a lot of dead malls, a lot of stuff's fallen down, a lot of outdated stores. The, the thing that this mall lacks is the actual stores to be inside of it. Other than that, it would be a pretty decent place to go to. Um, let's see. In, in August of 2005, it was announced that Best Buy would close the doors on October 31st. In 2016, Hollywood uh, Halloween Spirit opened in the form of Best Buy for two months. Pet Smart later on did take the space of the Best Buy. I believe this is because there is a Best Buy, uh, buy in the mall down the street. That's probably about 20 minutes away at the Holyoke Mall. And that's another thing, too. The Holyoke Mall is a massive... It's one of the biggest malls in Massachusetts. It's one of the biggest... I think it's probably the biggest mall in New England by square footage. Well, if not the second biggest, uh, next to Natick. And this mall is an actual beast. And I am not surprised that um, it uh, hurts this mall, to be honest with you. Um, it's also some controversy with the road it's on. Uh, it's on Route 9. Uh, for years, they've been trying to expand the mall and uh, expand the road rather to make it wider to make it more easily accessible route 9 is a uh west to east uh car it's a state route that runs pretty much the whole length of massachusetts um and it goes through a lot of main mage towns and i don't know if this would hurt them all if anything it would probably help them all because it'd make a little bit less traffic there and make it a little easier to get to and from but uh yeah i, I just don't know so what's going to happen to this mall the whole area is busy all these big stores are very busy. The mall itself, not so much. Uh, I do think when the inevitable happens and the JCPenney's does close, which I assume is going to happen probably within the next few years, the JCPenney's company uh, kind of struggling a bit, this mall uh, is going to go into the wayside. And I think the inside is just going to close and they're going to redevelop the inside into bigger stores and kind of make it match the, uh, the mountain mall that's down the road. This mall has lots of similarities to the Liberty Tree Mall in Danvers, Massachusetts, with the sense that there's a lot of big stores around it, but the inside is kind of empty. And it looks clean, it looks nice, but it's just no volume. It also has a movie theater like the Liberty Tree Mall. The movie theater did look somewhat, uh, you know, popular. You know, as movie theaters these days are not as popular as they once were. Um, it did seem like there was something going on there. Some people were actually uh, enjoying a movie or two, but. Um, other than that, uh, the move the mall itself is. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be around for. To be honest with you, it's approaching uh, 43 years of being open, and uh, I would get to the mall soon if you can. Hadley, Ma Hadley Massachusetts. It's uh, well, like I said, 100 miles west of Boston. Uh, it's probably about 50, 60 miles north of Hartford, Connecticut. Maybe a little bit more. And there, UMass Amherst. And uh, the biggest major, major city is Springfield, which we checked out the, the mall in Springfield many, many episodes ago. Um, and then uh, stay tuned. We'll be checking out the Holyoke Mall on this network. So we'll let you just enjoy the rest of the mall. Sit back, relax. Uh, if you enjoy these malls or you have any stories you want to share, please leave the comments below. We'd love to hear stories of all these places. Um, especially what the hell is this? We were dying to know what this is What right here. Um, this part of the mall. We're not quite sure, but if you know what this is, let us know. And uh, please subscribe, hit the little alarm so you make sure you never miss an episode. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later. Bye.